like to thank you for joining our workshop, which he holds in the 5th International Medical Student Congress here in Jalan Pasha Faculty of Medicine, Istanbul University. First, let me introduce myself to you. My name is Ahmed Kumbaz. I am from Syria. I am a medical student and researcher here in Jalan Pasha Faculty of Medicine, Istanbul University. Also, I would like to introduce my, my friend Michel Al Hassan, who is also a student here with us in our college and an assistant for me in my workshop. So, I would like to welcome all of you to Istanbul, the most beautiful city in the world, at least in my opinion. I hope you will enjoy its great sights, seas and sunset, its great museums and mosques, and for sure, its great shops. I know all of you are excited to discover this wonderful city before going back to cities and countries where the final exams are waiting for you. And I know you all are feeling boring and exhausted after this long scientific day. But I can assure you that this workshop will be concise and helpful for you in your future career. Now, let's start our, show, our workshop with this important concept presented by Mendeley. It's time to change the way we do research. Actually, my aim of this workshop is to make you all believe in this sentence as much as I do. Well, many of you may have doubts about that like our friend here. But I hope by the end of this workshop, all of your doubts will be gone. Now, let's take a quick look at the agenda of our workshop. I'll start talking about research difficulties facing us as medical students interested in science and as researchers. Then, i start talking about Mendeley. What is it? Why is it useful for us? And what are its features? Then, i conclude by telling you how to keep updated with the latest information related to Mendeley. So, talking about research difficulties, as you all know, many social networks are presented, like Facebook and Twitter, in order to connect people with each other. However, there is no efficient scientific network allowing us, as medical students interested in science and researchers, to make contributions and discuss in different scientific concepts. Also, as medical students and young researchers, we may have interests in many medical fields, which require, as a result, us to keep updated with the latest studies presented in different scientific journals like Nature, Science and Cell Research. But it's very hard to keep tracking all of these journals with its uh, huge publishing machineries, as we all know. Also, well, one day a professor told me, if you choose medicine as your future career, your life, your time, and your files will be in a mess. Actually, this sentence is clearly true, at least for myself, because when I search the internet, find an article interests me, I just download it, but it gets lost in between all of these files. Let me tell you that one of the most beautiful moment in your research pathway when your research idea comes up with applicable results. At that time, you will start thinking about writing your paper. Let me, tell, let me say something here, that I hope our friends who did not start the research journey yet to be encouraged by those brilliant researchers who joined our congress and start their own researches soon. So, while you are writing your papers, you are extremely happy with what you have achieved. But, by the time when you get from section to another, you will reach the final section, which is the reference section, and then your happiness, all of your happiness will be gone. Like our friends here. There is popping them. Why? Because you will discover that you should write your bibliographies, which contain around 40 references, less or more, manually. And that will take a huge effort and time from you, for sure. Now, congratulations, you have finished your paper and submitted it to the journal. It's time to 
to celebrate and wait for the decision from the editor of the journal. But, unfortunately, as medical students and young researchers, we will receive rejections many times before our paper will be accepted. This could be a problem for sure, but in my opinion, the main problem is that with each new submission, we should look at the journal style. For example, some journals require you to arrange references in the way orderly in the way you mentioned them in your manuscripts. Other journals require you to arrange the references alphabetically according to the according to the first to the first author surnames. Some of them are working with Harvard style, others are working with American Medical Association style, and so on. So we will be exhausted with this tough and very difficult issue. Now, by getting experiences in the research field, you will have your own research team. And as you all know, it's very hard to share documents, discussions, and ideas between you and your research team with the normal services like Google Drive, Dropbox, and Facebook. So, a question comes to our mind, why there is no single scientific platform that combines all researcher needs in one place? It will make our life much easier, for sure. So, to some of the difficulties I've just mentioned, it's really hard to keep updated with the latest, uh, keep updated with researchers having the same research interests like you, Find and keep updated with latest studies in your field of interest and also organize your papers and find them easily when you need them. Write your references and change the style of references with each new submission. And lastly, it's hard to share notes and files with your colleagues in your research team. So, what is the solution for all of this problem? Ladies and gentlemen, let me present you Mendeley, many of, many of you may, may ask a question, why should I, as a medical student and researcher, to talk about this software? And I'll tell you my story with Mendeley. At that time when I discovered Mendeley, with coincidence, I was extremely exhausted with writing references and organizing my paper. And when I started to discover the features of Mendeley, I realized how Mendeley would make my life much easier and how it will help me to reduce the time needed for making my references and other features. So then, I was inspired by, the, by this revolutionary idea of doing research and decided to share this great free software with my colleagues to make their research life easier too. And that was me when I discovered Mendeley first day. You can't imagine how extremely happy I was that day, really. Now, a question comes to your mind, what is Mendeley exactly? Mendeley is a free reference manager and academic social networks presented in all platforms and also in all browsers. Mendeley provides you with a desktop application for your PC, a web library if you are outside home, and for sure a device on your mobile phone and especially on your iPhones for you if you were outside home. And very soon it will be released on, on devices that supported Android system. So let me tell you some facts about Mendeley. Mendeley is now trusted by many institutions worldwide like Cambridge University, Stanford University and MIT. It was founded by three PhD students in London in 2007 Today, Mendeley's users exceeded 3 million researchers, varying from undergraduates until professionals and professors. And let me tell you that Mendeley is coming. So, as you all know, in the emergency cases, when we find a victim by car accident or so on, we, it just uh, the, the secret formula of first aid comes to our minds with ABC, airway, breathing, circulation. And in Mendeley, we also have our own formula, which is OCD. O, for organizing your documents and references. C, collaborate with your 
your, your, your fellow researchers by joining groups and making discussions. D, by discovering how Mendeley will, give, will provide you with readership statistics and other features and suggestions. Now, let me give you a brief talk about the features of Mendeley and how Mendeley can help you in your real research. Now, first, you should go to mendeley.com, sign up, and install the device into your desktop. At that moment, you are ready to set up your library. So, as you see here in the screen, this is our Mendeley desktop overview. Here in this section, you will find all of your documents. Here you will find all of your groups. In the middle, the references and files you just uploaded to Mendeley. And the last part, we'll talk about each paper you pointed on. Mendeley will extract all of the information from this paper. Now, for adding documents to Mendeley, it's very easy by just dragging any PDF folder into Mendeley and Mendeley will automatically extract all the information from this paper like we see here for example your abstract and other information will be released automatically also you can add many files together you can use watch folder function which allow Mendeley to keep an eye on a certain folder you have for example if you add the folder on your desktop would like to and let Mendeley upload each file inside it so whenever you upload any folder into this file into this folder Mendeley will automatically upload it to your library also you can add your references manually for sure and add, other, uh, and add your references from other reference managers now if you know the PubMed ID number or other numbers you can just add it to Mendeley and all of the information of this article will be released automatically. Now, if you want to, uh, if you were online and you would like to insert or upload certain paper to your library, you can do that easily with the web importer. Just go to down, just download it from mendeley.com slash import first time, add it to your browser, and then Whenever you came across an article or a study interests you, just press on Save to Mendeley and it will be saved immediately into your library. Now, here you can find sites and libraries that supported Mendeley and allowing you to use the web importer in order to add any papers like PubMed, Google Scholar and other libraries. Now, by pressing synchronizing button, Mendeley will, will automatically synchronize all of your or all of your files on your different devices. For example, if you are at home, you download a paper with Mendeley desktop, you press synchronizing button, then when you are in the car, you can easily browse this this uh, paper with your iPhone. Also, your library is 100% securely and no one ever can know what files are inside your library. And by pressing on synchronizing button, you allow Mendeley to analyze your papers anonymously. So after that, Mendeley can give you suggestions and other features, suggestions and recommendations for papers you have you in your file, in your field of interest for sure. Now, after setting up our library, let's talk about how to sort our papers and view files by Mendeley, PDF viewer, make, to make annotations and other notes. Here, again, I will show you the desktop, the how Mendeley interface look like, looks like. Here, you can point your papers, read or unread, make your favorites in all your own folder, and also make folders and subfolders to organize your library in the way you would like. Then, for searching for a new library, you can search inside Mendeley Desktop easily by authors, titles, publication names, and other options. Also, you can filter your paper in your field of interest, like you see here, by authors, by keywords, and by tags. So, for example, by keywords, you would like all the researches in your library that are talking about stem cells just pressing on by keywords, uh, by keywords and then 
choose stem cells, all of files related to stem cells will be shown in the middle. Here you can find the PDF viewer presented in Mendeley. You can add highlights, add annotations, and write your own notes on each paper. Now we have come to the most important function of Mendeley, which is organizing and citation for your papers. Mendeley comes up with a, a citation login allowing you to cite your paper easily so no need for hours spent when you are writing your bibliographies in your research. Let me show you here a quick video talking about this important function. As you see here in the screen, this is how, how Mendeley interface desktop looks like. If this is your first time, you should go to tools. Like we say here, it's not working. Ah, oh, it's working. Okay. So here, insert word, to word, and then a message will come telling you that it has successfully installed. Then, let's go to the word file. You will find in the add-ons folder, the Mendeley toolbar will be presented there. Like you see here, so whenever you would like to add citation, just go with the cursor to the side of citation and then press insert citation. Here you can search by your paper, by author and by other features as you remember it, for example here by name of the author, then press OK. You can add for sure many references for the same sentences, then OK and it will be added correctly. Now, if you forget what is, what is the paper you would like to cite here, just go to press to go to my library. Your library will be opened, and you can choose and search for the file you would like to cite here, like we say here in the screen. Just then press send to word file, and it will be added automatically. Also, you can add papers from your own private groups here presented in the list, as you see here. And now we've come to the most important part, the reference section with bibliography. Now you can insert all of your bibliography and references by one click. Just click on insert bibliography and all of the papers you cited in your, in your paper will be presented here. If you unfortunately unaccept it in any journal, just press, just highlight them and then change the style of the reference in the way you would like to. Now we have come to the second alphabet of our formula which is C for collaboration. And as we all know, collaboration is the key component of research and what is, meant, what is special in Mendeley that its ability to collaborate, to keep you in collaboration with your fellows and other researchers by making groups and sharing papers. And let me show you here some of its features. Here you can create groups that can keep updated with other people. For example, you can make it uh, like open group, you can make a close as a private group and invite only. By making private group, it won't be shown in the search in the search page of Mendeley. And no one ever will know about the existence of this group except you as the owner and the, the people you invited them into this group. Also, you can invite only limited number of researchers into this type of groups. Private group actually is the best way and best area for collaboration with your colleagues. So you can easily just share papers inside it and make notes and annotations so all of your research team will collaborate together and give you their opinion about each paper. For additional videos, visit our YouTube channel or learn more at Mendeley.com.